Watchtowers? Yeah, Avery was the most wanted man in the world, so if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. Some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. <laughs> oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days. Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan, it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot cargo now. Yeah, sure, but. I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. Hard to do that in a chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <clears throat> Nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when they said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest 4 by 4 Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. <laughs> no, sorry! Experiencing a little turbulence. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Gotta get up to that bridge. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, baby. Now let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. Ah, we're getting nowhere fast. You need traction here. Nathan, the rocks. I got it. I got it. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. 
All right, hang on, guys. There we go. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, my spine! Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy? In there? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. I'll bet we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch. All right, hang on tight. You take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shark pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. <coughs> Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. In pretty good shape or something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. <laughs> Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains. What, be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. And whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Some big plans for this winch. There, that ought to do it. Whoa, whoa. From. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. <laughs> Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, it could do a lot worse than here.
taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and... Oh, shit! Stop! Stop! Sam. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. Looks empty. I'd like to get it over with and move on.
Okay. I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now how do we get out of here? The rest of that bridge looks like it could come down any minute. One down, one to go. Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Slip and slide. <laughs> Just how well do you know Nadine? Why? Well, I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. But Rafe's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Thing in the same damn thing. They found the treasure already. Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah you're right. Hey, Sam, you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. Or what'd you read? History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. Pretty much it. <clears throat> Ow, hey! Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. Well, that would be because the warden saw it. 
I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with a head. Whoa! Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. Shit! Sam, what were you talking about? Uh, oh, right. I got my own back when the warden decided to room. Where Shoreline goes. This is a right request. Every site needs to be documented before we. Oh, shit. Shall we pick up where we left off? Um, no. Right. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago. Even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. Check it out, boys. What is it? Hey guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Drawbridge? How medieval. Yeah. Well, you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to keep people out. Or protect something inside. <laughs> Another 
Dr. Sigil. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. Anne Bonnie. Mm hmm? Operated out of the Caribbean. Thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too. Check out that drawbridge. Sounds good. Hey, be careful, kid. Let's see if there's something up here. Hey guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam! Special This? Mm hmm. I seen a few. I'll bring the car closer. Right. Are you two just relax? I got this. I mean, there's only one train, you know? Keep up the good work, kid. that bridge down. Let's try that again.
Big tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? Pick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? Just how much do you owe, Alfred? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. Right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure in play. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. <laughs> I wasn't exactly expecting to be partnered with him. There we go. Sharing this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Get the whole thing under control. Find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. Can't get in that way. <laughs> Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah. See what we got here. Huh. Looks like there's something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. Damn. It's breaked over. All right, let's look around.
Hey, careful with that thing, kid. Heads up! God, Jesus! I said heads up! He's got a lot riding on this. See a treasure, though. Guys, <laughs> coming. Come check this out. Saint Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas too. And that's uh. Um... That's Adam Baldridge. That's uh, Joseph Farrell. And that's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh, let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe, maybe one of the arms, or... Uh, give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys, <coughs> whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. Trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Hector, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's gotta be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. Let's hope so. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Sam? Yeah, over here.
What are you doing? Confirming a suspicion. <laughs> Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed. Okay, because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. That's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Yes, we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, are you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. Crap. Yeah, but still. Two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that one. No, 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 no. no, no Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Uh, Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. If you run into any of those shoreline clouds, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah. All right, there's our tower. You really think all that treasure's gonna be just sitting in the middle of a goddamn market? Oh, yeah, that'd be crazy. But we've seen crazy before. That we have. Okay, fine, fine. Here. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Enjoy your apple. And tell your friends. to buy you one of these? Sully, you gotta be crazy to wear a shirt like that. Ah, crazy handsome. Oh, man. Something smells really good. Excuse me. Mm, that's right. It does smell good. Oh, look out. It's <laughs> passing through. Hey, here we go. Locked. 
guess we're gonna have to sneak in. Discreetly? Implied by the use of the word sneak. Excuse me? Hey, check it out. That window over there is broken. Hey, Sully, I think we can squeeze through here. That'll work. <laughs> Jesus, long way down. <sighs> you okay back there? You keep your pace, I'll keep mine. Yeah, well, at least you got a great view, right? <clears throat> okay, let's see what we got. Edward England's sigil, just like the map said. So what are we looking for? Good question. It is. Hmm. Now, what do you bet? Looks like we're at the right tower. Call us. They don't have the best coverage in this city. Well, no reason to wait. Right back. your fingers, Nate. Can I be nervous? No, good. Trust me.
Scorpio. That Avery was a Scorpio.
Taurus. <laughs> the worst. Move. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whew. That was fun. There you are. Sure hope you're doing okay out there, Sam.
I made it! This is gonna be loud! Sully, heads up! Sorry! The handle broke! I'm gonna have to bring it myself. Ah, here we go. Jesus Christ. Hey, Sally. Oh, shit. At least I got the door open, though, huh? <laughs> That's one way to do it. You all right? Uh, I don't know yet. All right. Sure, why not? Let's see what's down here. Fingers crossed for piles of gold and jewels. Sam, finally, you okay? Just search my towel, I, I got nothing. Yeah? No, we're definitely in the right place. Make your way over here. Are you serious? Uh, okay, I'm on my way. He's coming. Good. Sully. Way ahead of you. Whoa. Hey, are those our boys? Yep. Henry Avery. Founders. Founders of what? Worst scavenger hunt ever? <laughs> there are Avery and two sigils. These are a little different, though. Yeah, they got those star patterns on them. They turn, but which way are they supposed to go? Just a second. More pirate symbols. Adam Baldridge, Anne Bonnie, and uh, Christopher Condent. I mean, there's, there's too many permutations. I say we see where that door leads. Still hoping for some treasure, yeah? You and me both.
Hey, look, I was right. Baldridge, Bonnie, and Condit. Splendid. But why are they here in the first place? Well, let's find out. Huh. Bonnie was a redhead. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, look at these stars. They're just like the ones on the Avery and Two sigils in the other room. Yeah, you're right. Ah, uh, that's right. Content went by Billy One Hand. Here's another one of those star patterns. Yeah, but this one's different than that first one. Oh, yeah. Good catch. Thank you. See, I'm not just a pretty face. What do you think? Those Avery and Two sigils. The stars on those lined up, remember? I bet these line up, too. Hmm. Are, uh... You don't know, do you? Hey, there were a lot of pirates out there, you know? So we're stuck. No, we're not stuck. Would you... Give me your phone. What, you're gonna phone a friend? Close. Text a brother. There. You know, these are actually some nice paintings. If we don't find the treasure, maybe we could sell them to a museum. Let's find those star patterns. William Mays. American? Yeah, from Rhode Island. Just like Thomas, too. Nah. Hey, Richard Want. Whew. Looks like he and Baldridge were in a best wig competition. Uh -huh. Hey, you still in the tower? Yeah, I just uh, climbed back down. What's with the picture you just sent? I'll fill you in later. For now, just tell me who's who. Well, the, the dolphins are Richard Want, the trident is Joseph Farrell, and the two hands with the pearl is William Mays. All right, great. Just Stay where there's good reception. I might need your help again. But Nathan, did you find the treasure? No, not yet. But I got a mechanism to solve here. I'll let you know. Nada. Hey, Sully, give me a hand. You got it. Thanks. Is it straight? Who the hell cares? Well, I care. God, look at Farrell's face. Looks like he'd rather be anywhere else. Nuh-uh.
Here we go. There. I'm honestly shocked you don't know this stuff. No, I, I do. I just want to make sure Sam knows, you know, because he likes to feel useful, that's all. Aha, uh -huh. of course. Shit, what happened here? A torch probably fell or something. Come on, let's see what's left. Huh. Yazid al Basra. Looks Indian. Close. Muggle. Wait, not the muggles, the ones Avery robbed? Honor among thieves. <laughs> yeah, like that's ever the case. Ooh, Sam texted me back. Now, see there, Sully? Turns out Sam doesn't know everything either. Gloating is unseemly. Yeah, I know. Let's just look at the paintings. Edward England. Stout little fellow. That's two. Huh. No name. This guy's get up looks Moorish. I don't recognize this guy. Looks a lot younger than the other pirates. sure yet maybe send it to Sam really hey you're the one who said he's the pirate expert just saying okay that's one and two last one all right let's see what he makes of them you know that kind of looks huh. What are you doing? You just took pictures. Hold that. You know, Avery's recruits wouldn't have had smartphones, obviously. Obviously. So this would have been the only way for them to get to the next clue. <laughs> These are clues. Yeah, let me see. Voila. <laughs> All right, these could be trade winds, yeah, and these look like latitudes, yeah. and I would guess that we are packing our bags again, Boyle. What? Prodeus quod licentia. Oh, no, it can't be. Can't be what? Oh, my God, it's so obvious. Nate! Why didn't I see this before? Jesus, enough of the beautiful mind shit. What the hell are you talking just, just, about? Hang on. Sam, did you get the photos? <laughs> Here I am. I'm calling what I thought was Sullivan's phone, and look who picks up. How you been, Nate? 
Hey, Rafe. <laughs> Been a long time. How did you get this number? Sullivan leave it on a cocktail napkin? <laughs> I wish. That only would have cost me a few shots of rum, right? No, no, I had to pay top dollar to find you guys. Yeah. I hope you didn't spend too much on this whole Avery thing. I hear the competition's fierce. Yeah, you pulled off some clever moves there. But in the end, all that matters is who gets to Avery's treasure first. <laughs> well, that sounds like a bet. Hey, Nate, you know I'm always game, but my partner, well, she prefers to mitigate unnecessary risks. Wow. Oh, Rafe Adler, taking orders from somebody else. Oh, how times have changed. Look, Nate, I'm gonna make you a one-time offer here. You drop everything. Go home, live your life. I'm willing to forgive and forget. For old time's sake. As tempting as that sounds, Rafe. I gotta say, I'm not normally the kind of guy who likes to quit while he's ahead. Okay. Rodeus quote Lucentia, for God and liberty. These are nice pictures, Nate. Good composition. You hacked our phones. You stole my cross. Listen, Nate. If you're half as smart as you think you are, you'll accept my offer. What's it gonna be? Listen, as nice as it's been to catch up with you, I really gotta take this call, so... Well, Nate, one more thing. Nate! What? You, uh, you do realize that your phones are equipped with GPS, right? I'll see you soon, buddy. Shit. Let me guess. Goons with guns on their way here now. Sam, for God and liberty. Nathan, do you understand what this means? Sam, listen to me. Get off the streets right now and destroy your phone. What's going on? Rafe knows where we are. We gotta find some place to hide. Sam? Sam! Damn it. Hey. Buy a new one. Sam's Tower. Well, it's definitely Sam's Tower. Come on. This way. Hey, pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me what? How long do you think before Rafe gets here? <laughs> Let's not stick around to find out. Sorry, pal. Come on, down here, Nate. Nate, watch out! Shit! Everyone out of the way!
Oh, Christ. Bottom of this hill. Keep going down. Get out of the way! Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Careful!
Master, stop arguing! Watch out! Way he could have survived that. Why chance it? That's not good. All this Yeah. <laughs> you good? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I think the coast is clear. Yeah. All right. Prodeus Cordesentia. This looks like a simple cipher. Forgotten liberty. I mean, it's their damn motto. All the paradise references. I can't believe we missed it. See you two made it out, okay? Way better than okay. We found Libertalia. <laughs> Liber. Libra, what are you? Libertalia. Seems Avery founded the legendary pirate colony. Uh, it's more of a pirate utopia, really. Okay, but what about the treasure? See, as the story goes, this place provided a safe haven for hundreds, maybe even thousands of pirates, and they, they shared everything. Property, resources... Money? And they kept it all in one common treasury building. Okay. So, where is this commie pirate sanctuary. Right here. That island, just northeast of King's Bay. <laughs> hey, Rafe has a copy of this. Yeah, well, by the time Rafe figures it out, we'll be well on our way to Libertalia. I'm telling you, that treasure is as good as ours. <laughs> Shit. How's the Malaysia job going, Nate? Seems like you're a hair off course. Elaine, it's... It's not what it looks like. Really? Because what it looks like is that you're searching for Henry Avery's buried treasure. And given the shoreline soldiers that are all over town, I'd bet you're not the only ones looking for it. All right, well, I... 
guess it's kind of what it looks like. But, but I can explain. Look, it's gonna sound crazy. Try me. Well, for starters, um, this is uh, Sam. Sam Drake, my brother. Hi. I'm sorry. I, I thought he had died in a Panamanian Neat. jail, but I was obviously very wrong. He's been stuck in there for 15 years, and it's because of me. And the guy who broke him out wants a lot of money, and the only way we can pay off the debt is Avery's treasure. But, but that's the good news. We, we found it. it it's, it's on an island just off the coast. Okay, just stop. Was there ever a Malaysia job? Elena, wait! I don't get you. Look, I, I wanted to tell you. You know what? Enough! No, I wanted to, but how could I? I don't know. Just say it. I had to protect you. That is bullshit, Nate. You just didn't have the nerve to face me again. I, I knew you would react like this. How would you react? You lied to me. For weeks. If you were killed, I... I wouldn't have even known about it. And now you have a brother. Who are you? Come on. I'm me. Come on, it's me. It's different this time. Oh my God. I have to save him. I don't even care about the treasure. The look on your face when you walked into this room. If you're done lying to me, then you should stop lying to yourself. I got a plane to catch. You do what you have to do. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Go after her. We're not done here. Well, maybe we should be. What are you saying? I'm saying maybe there's a smarter way to save Sam. Such as? Such as we give him a new identity. We, we put him in hiding somewhere. He's I got been contact. in prison for 15 years. He's not going into hiding. OK, fine. You go after your wife. Sam and I will head off for Libertelli. Without me? Come on, you'll get both of you killed. <laughs> really? <laughs> Kid, I've been doing this for a hell of a long time. I think I might be able to hey, handle. Hey, you want to be helpful, Sullivan? Go keep an eye on her. Whatever you say. You need a hand? I got it. Pack your bags. surviving by the skin of our teeth. I think we've actually taken a moment to step back and appreciate just how far we've come. 
Sig Parvis Magna. Sig Parvis Magna? Ja. Listen, little brother. She will get over it. I mean, we bring back a treasure like that, anyone would. I don't know. I think maybe I've uh, done this one too many times. Somehow I imagined it bigger. Yeah, well, we're definitely in the right place. They'll find us a spot to set ashore. <laughs> <laughs>